Hi there, welcome back. Let's get started with this new one. Here I have opened Premiere Pro CC. To begin, come to the bottom of the project panel here and click on the new item. This brings you a list of all items are available in. Then choose color matte option. Here I am keeping default size as it is and hit OK button. To make my text scroll more highlighted and readable, I am selecting yellow color over here and click on OK. Choose the name you want. Here I am keeping this as it is and click the OK button. Next, drag the color mat on your timeline. Drag the end of clip to set duration of text scroll. So however long you want to play your clip for. Next step is select the type tool and click anywhere in the view, either you can type your text or just copy and paste like this. Make sure that your cursor is in the text area so we will able to format the text later. Next, let's go to the effect control panel and to see all text property, expand this drop down so you can use all text formatting setting here. You can do all kind of text formatting like changing its font, size, type, alignment. Here I am just going to increase my font size and color will be white. Then I am also going to click this checkbox next to the background to give it a red background which will make my text more readable. Here I am ready with my text now. Next, we need to add animation to our text. So if we will go a little further down, you see this position setting under transform. First click and hold on the position second value and drag it to the right to move your text to the bottom of your screen. Now this looks fine for me but if this gives you trouble, you can also use a selection tool to reposition your text. Next, drag the position first value to the right so that text is just off the right side of your screen. Now click the stopwatch next to the position to create a starting keyframe for crawl animation. Note. The icon for the selected property turns blue to indicate that animation is activated. Then move the playhead in the effect control panel to when you want the scroll to be finished by. Bring text back to the screen, drag the position first value to the left and keep dragging until it's just off the left side of your screen. Ok, now we are good to check the result. Here my horizontal text scroll looks fine. To slow it down, simply move the second key further from the first one and the opposite way is you can speed up by moving the second key frame closer to the first one. In this way we can make horizontal text scroll or new sticker. Follow the same mention process above and create two more text scroll. Select the clip you want to rotate in the timeline. After that, go to the effect control panel and then a little further down in the rotation under motion. To start, click the stopwatch button next to the rotation. This action creates a new keyframe over here. You can click on rotation coordinate and type in a value or you can drag the line inside the circle until you reach the desired value. Now, move your playhead to the location where you want the next keyframe. New frames are created whenever you adjust those values. You can again configure the scales and position value until you reach the desired result. In this way, I have created some nice looking crawl text in all other direction. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to the next video. Till time, keep learning and practicing our tutorials.